Welcome to another episode of Ship of War. Ship of War. When ship happens, I'm there. First news is coming out of Breaking Dawn. Images from the actual movie have been released. They're behind the scenes photos of Bella and Edward in Brazil. The first set of the images are of them in Brazil out in the streets. I guess they're hanging out, they're on their honeymoon, they're having fun. And the second set of images that came out is them in the beach swimming. I guess it's the scene from the book where they go swimming at night. Well, it looks like it's daytime. I don't know, maybe they changed it for the film. So if you haven't checked out those images and you're really looking forward to seeing something from Breaking Dawn, Part 1 of the Twilight Saga, I suggest you check out these images. Another film that has onset photos is Reese Witherspoon's film that she's working on right now. This is War, and it's of her and her love interest on the film kissing and her hanging out with him on the streets of Vancouver, Canada, and stuff's happening. So for those who are looking forward to the Green Lantern film, well, E.T. has an actual exclusive, I guess, trailer from the movie. Uh, they posted something this past week where they're going to feature a exclusive trailer on their Tuesday show. Uh, from what I can see from this TV spot for this trailer, I'm a little disappointed, or actually very disappointed with what I've seen because I was expecting a more serious film, and from the trailer it looks like more like a comedy, like one of those Ryan Reynolds comedy movies rather than an actual serious superhero movie. Hopefully the trailer is misleading and there's actually more action and more seriousness in this than comedy. It just, the trailer seemed more like a Marvel movie rather than a DC movie because DC movies are a little bit more serious, like Batman for example. So hopefully the trailer is misleading because if it's not, then I'm a little disappointed in what's going to come out for Green Lantern. And of course for the TV spot, there's actually scenes of Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds as their characters, you know, they're the romantic relationship in Green Lantern. Just wanted to add that. Sorry for my rant, I'm just saying I'm a little disappointed. Sad news, Dave the Company was actually misquoted when he said that the script for X-Files 3 was finished. Well, actually what he did say was that he was open to doing another X-Files film. Not that there was actually an X-Files film being made again for the third time. How much does this suck for us X-Files fans? And of course, Mulder and Scully fans. I was looking forward to a third film that maybe they're married, they have kids, I don't know. But, yeah, this third movie just has to happen. It just needs to be the closing ending of the X-Files franchise and, of course, the Mulder and Scully relationship. So, X-Files fans, make it happen. Another sad news is that for the film The Taurus, the Angelina Jolie and Johnny Depp film, supposedly there was supposed to be a shower scene between Angelina Jolie's and Johnny Depp's character, but it was cut out because Johnny Depp's girlfriend was actually disappointed or disgusted or she just didn't want that scene in the film so she asked Johnny Depp to talk to the producer and have them remove the scene which supposedly they did you hear that that's a bunch of collective awes trailers that came out this week the first one is Jane Eyre uh, this movie has been released in motion pictures ten times before this one they made it for the 11th time so you get to see it again for the 11th time. Second trailer is Feed the Fish. The third trailer is Barney's Vision and the fourth trailer that came out this past week is Love and Other Drugs, the Red Band trailer for this film which is very raunchy and inappropriate. So if you haven't checked out those trailers I suggest you check them out sometime like right now. So the final news and news in general is TV news and the only TV news I have for this week for you guys is coming out of Vampire Diaries and it's the trailer to the upcoming episodes that will be airing in December because right now um, Vampire Diaries is like on a three week hiatus, again another hiatus for the series and why this trailer is interesting because it seems like they're playing up the Bonnie and Jeremy thing 
I don't know what's going on because it's been a while since I've watched Vampire Diaries because I haven't had time to watch it. But if they're trying to do a Bonnie and Jeremy thing, no. Just no, 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 and no. I completely disagree with this pairing. And if they're going there, I'm going to be very, very disappointed with the whole thing. It's just, just no. Just no, okay? No. So that is all for this episode of Ship of War. Goodbye and until next time.